Some of you might ask, who did this and why did they do it? Well, this project began in 2015 when I was planning a master's program in educational leadership. It was to focus on restarting local relationships, which had been damaged by 15 years of conflict between the provincial government and the BCTF. To help me plan the program, I invited Charlie Naylor, a senior researcher for the BCTF, and Hugh Finlayson, who had been the government negotiator for provincial collective agreements, to join me. Together, we developed a series of symposia for senior district administrators and local teachers union officials in which the master's students would also participate. The president of the BC Principals and Vice Principals Association and the BCTF agreed to sit on a steering committee for that series. At the end of the symposium series, the participants suggested we run it again, which we did. But this time, we also included school-based teams. The toolkit of resources that was developed for those two symposium series is what is provided on this website. The goal is to enable sincere, rigorous, and productive discussions about significant topics on which there are strongly conflicting views. This requires an understanding that in the school system, we are interdependent, in the same boat, if you will, and no one succeeds, certainly not our students, unless we can work through our differences. On a larger front, it has become increasingly clear that our capacity for constructive deliberation at the community, provincial, national, and international level is also weakening. So these resources are intended to be helpful for anyone wishing to improve their ability to have productive discussions about contentious issues and to arrive at decisions that can be willingly enacted and sustained so that they permanently improve conditions for everyone. In developing the resources, we use the conceptual framework based on a large scale negotiation so that we could expand it and examine all the phases carefully. But the resources themselves are easily scaled and equally valuable to individuals having brief conversations or to committees that want to improve their capacity for productive discussion about difficult issues. The easiest way to explore the resources is to watch the introductory video and then the five short toolkit videos before diving into the individual documents in the toolkit. These documents are intended as thought provoking discussion starters, so most of them are very short. I hope you find them useful.